turning our attention to those headings above the three images, we can quickly give them background colors. Most people know the technique as reversing or reversed text, white text on a colored background. In point of fact, you can use any color text on any color background, though in this case we really do want white text on a colored background. Let's color the background and then come back and turn the text white. Like most things in InDesign, there are several techniques to accomplish the same result. What I'm about to show you is the easiest and most flexible method for putting a colored background behind text. With the Type tool, select Free Samples, or even just put the cursor inside that line of text. Adding a background color affects the entire paragraph of text, so placing the cursor inside the paragraph accomplishes it just as well as highlighting the paragraph, but without the selection highlight in the way. On the very far end of the control panel, you'll see a couple of buttons. The button that is three lines, the panel menu, is the one we want. Click it, and then from the pop-up panel menu, choose Paragraph Shading down here. Up pops the Paragraph Shading dialog box. First, turn on Preview at the bottom so we can see the results of changes we make in here on the free sample text. Now, enable the Shading On checkbox to turn on Paragraph Shading. Ta-da! Look at that! Instant background color! From the color menu here, you can choose any pre-built color swatch. If the color you want isn't in the list, click OK, make the swatch, and come back to paragraph shading. For now, choose the salmon color swatch. Like this, it looks OK, but not great. It's a pretty small colored block, and the top and bottom are right up against the text. Give it some breathing room with the offsets fields down here. First, break the chain link. The sides have enough space, so we don't want to increase them as we increase the top and bottom. Start clicking the up arrow buttons on the top field. Keep going until you've got an amount of background color above the text that looks good to you. Do the same for the bottom. If the color overlaps the photo, don't worry. Just move the text frame up a little bit with the black arrow once you're done in paragraph shading. Let's not worry about the rest of those settings. When you have the color you like and the top and bottom offset values that make your text look great, click OK to commit your changes. You can always return at any point in the future to paragraph shading to adjust the offsets, change the color, or even disable paragraph shading. Now, select the text and turn it white with the white color swatch on the swatches panel. We now have reversed text. Let's do it again, but not on the other two photo headers. Let's instead reverse the Join Us This Saturday, March 4th. Highlight it with the Type tool and go back to the Control Panel's menu, then Paragraph Shading. Enable Shading, use this light cyan swatch, and give the top and bottom a little offset padding, though a bit less than the previous instance. Looks good. Let's click OK. Color the text white, and we're done with that line. At this point, we could reverse the face painting and espresso headings manually, but they present an ideal opportunity for me to show you how to sample the formatting of one piece of text and apply it to another piece of text. We'll do that in the next clip.